You know, one of my first reviews was on Bohemian Rhapsody, and the standout things about that film were Rami Malek's performance as Freddie Mercury, and also the reenactment of the Live Aid performance at the end of the film. Those two things made the film very good. The story was all right, but it was those performances that made it as great as it was. Hands down, Rami Malek, Oscar deserved. And now we have a similar film concept. We have Taron Egerton playing Elton John in the new film Rocket Man, another biographical film about a legendary musician. So what's the deal with the reel? Is it worth watching? Is it entertaining? How does it compare? Keep watching to find out. Hello everyone and welcome back Reelers. Thank you for joining me on Rusty Reels. I'm Rob Harris bringing you another film review. Today I'm talking about Rocket Man. This is starring Taron Egerton as Elton John and the film is following Elton's life from a young boy as a musical prodigy up to and including his race to superstardom. So the story does cover some younger years of Elton's life but it mainly tells the story from around the time he meets his lyricist. This is Bernie Tolpin who's played by Jamie Bell. We then see Elton's rise as a global superstar. He then meets his manager, John Reed, who's played by Richard Madden. We also see their, shall we say, unhealthy relationship, and also Elton's problems with addiction and his eventual breakdown. The events of the film are based on Elton's narrative while he's attending an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Everything is told in flashback form, and we do occasionally return to Elton while he's in this meeting. The film is a musical. Elton's songs are portrayed or performed like musical numbers, and also other characters do get involved by singing certain lines of the songs. So the music in this film is being used more like storytelling devices. So rather than the music being performed or discovered by Elton, it is being more so used for storytelling purposes throughout the film. And they are rather symbolic in certain situations. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume that I was watching a film adaption of a West End or Broadway musical about the life of Elton John. Really the best way to describe this film is it is a biographical musical. In terms of style, it's Bohemian Rhapsody meets Mamma Mia. Everyone gets involved with the singing, but the focus remains on Elton. It is his story, it is his life. And remember, Elton is the one telling this story, so it's from his perspective and coming from his imagination. And this is definitely the more enjoyable film when comparing to those two examples. The other good thing about this film, and what is impressive, is that Edgerton did all the music. He sang all the songs. Of course, this wasn't live, it is pre-recorded, but his ability to mimic the style of Elton is actually rather good. Combine this with the different genres and the fantasy elements, costumes and choreography. This makes you enjoy the music like you were at a live show or a Broadway musical. And the music stands out far better than the standard renditions that you saw in Bohemian Rhapsody. This was a really fun film to watch actually. It does have some well-placed humour in certain moments, but it has some very raw reality and a lot of vulnerability in it as well. It's an all-round uplifting story, really just about being yourself. A little bit dark at times, but it's kept burning bright by toe-tapping musical numbers and great performances from the entire cast. So that's the Rusty Reels review. Let me know what you think and comment below on the deal with the reel. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you give it a like. Also subscribe and ring that bell so you know when future videos are published. If you want to see more, head on over to Rusty Reels where you can see more of my videos and review content there or give one of these a look. Thanks very much for watching everyone, as always, and in the meantime, just be real.